afternoon, Phil. A 2 0 victory today against Runcorn Linnets. As always, give us your thoughts on the game. Uh, I thought we were good value today. I thought, uh, you know, since the turn of the year, you know, it's been a difficult one with, with, with a lot of uh, injuries and, and the depleted squad that we've had. Um, and, and I was really pleased uh, with, with the turnaround. We haven't sort of wallowed in his own self pity. We've, we've come out today and, and give a real man's performance. And from minute one, I thought we were brilliant. In difficult conditions, what it turned out to be as the game sort of, sort of went on with the wind and the rain and everything else. Uh, I thought we did uh, uh, certainly sort of deserve to go in uh, one 0 at half time with a great strike from Reese Kendall, who I thought was brilliant today. Uh, great mentality from him from from start to finish and having to shift positions and, and everything else. I thought he was brilliant. Um, alongside a, a, a few others, uh, and Tom Higgs, one of those. I thought uh, after the goal in the, the first half, I thought the first half we didn't really create many chances. Uh, the keepers didn't have that much work to do. Um, uh, and we got his noses in front, but I didn't think we deserved to, to get his nose in front just because of the fact we, you know, our, our keeper didn't have a shot to save the first half. And then second half, we'd come out again uh, on the front foot uh, in difficult conditions. You know, we had, had we had the win first half and they had it second, but we come out second half and we're on the front foot. And again, uh, we, we, we've got another goal through Tom Ager, another one who was absolutely, you know, on the money today. Uh, in terms of his performance and his, his mentality and his attitude, he was fantastic and he deservedly got his goal to make it 2-0 two, two and, and you know the, the conditions made it difficult um, but we weathered it well and we defended like men uh, and, and in the end we got the result and, and it should have been probably more with, with Luke Rawson's chance uh, uh, near the end. So really pleased with the performance, um, really pleased obviously with the result uh, and, and you know, now it's you know, a case of continuing that. Um, for the rest of the season. Yeah, uh, today we saw the debuts of Jay Ben, Javel Clark made his league debut and Jack Boyle made his debut today. How do you think all three fared? Well, it's January in it, and I've had to, uh, you know, I've had to, to had to bring bodies in because we, we are depleted. You know, we're down to we were down to bare bones against against Mask and and and, and uh, uh, the, the at the start of the uh, start of the year. So I brought brought some bodies in, and there's, there's more to, to it because I need. To create that competition, and, and, and they're going to do that. I thought Javel was absolutely immense against Osset uh, on Tuesday, uh, and he's coming to and He's shown that same tenacity. He, he, you know, he, he doesn't let his size he, he, his size bother him. He, he, he uses it, if anything, and he's got that edge to his game, which I like. So he's a great addition. Uh, uh, Jay Ben, I thought was brilliant, slotted straight in at right back. You know, with Joe being out long term, you know, Jay's come in and and and, uh, and, and done a brilliant job from his. For us, uh, for, for us today, uh, and then um, you know Jack Jack's coming in, and again he's worked hard and trying to put himself about and trying to make things happen. So really pleased with the with the debuts of, of, of those three, uh, and, and you know now it creates that little bit of competition and it keeps people on the toes. You know people like Usman and Shiraz and and the like they, they have to they have to sort of perform now because they know that if they don't, someone's you know waiting to, there to, to to take the shirt. And you know, we've also got to add to that Leighton uh, who. You know, didn't get on the pitch today, but he's another one that's waiting in the wings, that's waiting for his opportunity. Yeah, next week we're down here back at the Arch Payment Stadium and we've got Rambottom United, a team who's flying at the minute. It's going to be a tough test, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, they're all tough tests. You know, I've seen the results t t today and there's a few that have in and around us that, that have, have got some surprising results. Uh, so, yeah, now this, this part of the season is key. Um, you know, we're trying to finish as high as we can. And, and get as many points on the board as we can and see where it takes us. Um, uh, and yeah, round bottom will certainly be a tough game. You know, the beat is at their place and you know, we'll be looking to, to sort of readdress that uh, next Saturday. Yeah, and just on a side note, uh, it was coming through that Jordan Paul has got his free game suspension. Do you want to explain that to us? Yeah, I mean, uh, listen, it's something we accepted. It was, a, it was a charge that was based at this game, the reverse fixture at, at Runcorn. Um, Jordan accepted it. Uh, uh, um, you know, he's bang to rights uh, what, what he did and what he said to the referee. But I'm really disappointed with the FA. I mean, we got the uh, email, uh, which is uh, an embarrassment. You've got full time people on big salaries at the FA. And they, and they send an email at five o'clock on a Friday night saying your keeper suspended for the next three games. I, I don't understand the mentality of these people sometimes uh, that make these decisions and, and how they go about it. So, yeah, we lose Jordan for three games, but Matt's come in and, and he's been excellent. You know, we, we can rely on Matt. He's a top, top keeper. Uh, thanks to Albion Sports and John Francis. I really had to drop him in it yesterday. 
uh, and pull Matt back, um, but he was understanding and he, and, he, and he let me have Matt back, so that was great. And, and Matt was brilliant, but like I say, the, the FA don't come, cover themselves in, in any glory uh, with us, some of the stuff that they do and how they do things. So it was one of them where, um, you know, five o'clock, Friday that evening, I've got to try and source a keeper uh, for Saturday, and we managed to do it. Nice, I'm safe, Johnny Youngville, and we'll see you next Saturday. Brilliant, thank you.